Hi and welcome to another video. Today I've got a small Jackson's art haul and most of the things in here are top-up materials but there's also something really exciting that I'm going to also be swatching later on in this video. So we'll get into the box and see what we've got. A bit of a lucky dip here. I right, just unpackage everything. So I'll try and start with the items that are just top-up items that are a bit less interesting, which I know is this one. I'm not too sure what the other ones are. So this is the System 3 acrylic heavy body acrylic paint that I always use um, and this is just a top up of titanium white. I get through a lot of titanium white so yeah that's really handy because I'm running low on that. Let's see what else was boring? I think it was this one. Not boring, <laughs> just um, usual stuff that I use every day really. Yeah so this is the Liquitex acrylic medium and it's the gloss medium and I use this to varnish my paintings. I also use it in collages sometimes to stick down the materials um, but yeah I mainly use it to finish and varnish my paintings so I was running low on that. And then what did I get? Oh okay these So last time in my art haul, which you can find in a previous video, I got a Jackson's smooth painting panel. It was um, probably about that size. Um, so I got two smaller ones. I really enjoyed using the panel and I used acrylic on those and it was just a really good experience. And I like it how it's already pre-gessoed so it's ready to paint directly onto. And so now onto the super exciting package that oh, I just can't wait to open. Oh wow, so they're all in individual boxes. So these are Jackson's handmade soft pastels and I'm super excited to use these. They look so nice on uh, the website. I've never actually had any before, but the colours just, uh, they looked so amazing. So I've got a selection here. So I purchased these individually, but you can get a box of 14 where you can pick your own colours. Um, but I just got 10 for now and that saved me a bit of money as well. So excited. And I'll swatch these out once I've opened them all. Ah, a little one on its own. Oh, 
this looks like such a good colour. Oh wow, see the vibrant and the red next to it as well. So I'll start swatching these out, but they just look really lovely. They're a nice chunky size and they're all wrapped individually so that they're easy to handle. I don't know whether I'll unwrap them all actually, just so I can see the colours a bit better. Um, but you know, they look really vibrant and lovely. So I'm excited to swatch those. So there we go, that's everything unboxed and I'll get on to swatching these lovely pastels now. So I'm going to have a go with these soft pastels now. I don't really think there's a neat and tidy way to swatch these out because <laughs> pastels themselves are quite messy. So I'm just going to unwrap each one, swatch it out dry and then possibly try washing it with a bit of water and see what happens. So we'll start with the shade Apricot. And that's just a beautiful shade. Mm, it feels so smooth and lovely on the page. I really like that. Then with a bit of water. Yeah, that's really lovely. Next up, we've got this vibrant pink, and this is called fluorescent pink. Wow, that's so vibrant. Oh, it's really smooth and lovely and soft. I'm really impressed with these so far. So next up I've got light grey green. A really subtle, nice, earthy toned green. I really like that one. And they've got powder lime blue. Beautiful light blue shade. Then I've got rose grey. Oh, that one's a bit crumbled actually. That's 
a beautiful pillow as well. And they don't seem to have blend too well into water, the pigment. I mean, some of them do. This fluorescent pink worked really well in the apricot, but some of them, the pigment's not really blending very well. And I'm not too sure about how to use pastels with water. I've not done it very much, um, but I'll keep trying with that and see how I get on. Then next we've got fluorescent red. That's a beautiful, bright, vibrant orangey red colour. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, let me just clean up this mess. That's the trouble with these handmade pastels. They're very, very delicate. And obviously they've travelled in the post as well, so might have got a bit crushed in transit. Um, but yeah, this is the fluorescent red. Wow, that's super neon. That's re worked really well with the water as well because I picked up some of this dry, dusty pigment on the end. And yeah, that's worked really well. So that's fluoro red. So next up I've got shade Burnt Ochre. impressed with how smooth these are going down onto the paper. Sometimes pastels can be a bit scratchy but these are really smooth. And that one's worked well with water as well. So that one was burnt ochre. And I've got pale peach. This is again a really beautiful, subtle peachy pink shade. Don't know if you'll really be able to pick this one up on camera too well because it is quite subtle pale peach then I've got salmon orange Really nice. And then the last one I've got is light yellow ochre.
So that's a really lovely palette of colours. I've got subtle shades of pink, earthy tones, very vibrant colours and I really like this light blue as well. I mainly bought them to put on top of acrylics um, so they'll be for highlights and pops of colour so that's why I was going for these quite vibrant colours and the lighter ones but yeah I'm really happy with those. So I'll show you a few close-ups. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again soon.